In the late 1800s, a man by the name of James Chadwick was born in Manchester, England. In 1908, Chadwick received a diploma in physics from the Victoria University in Manchester and also was awarded a scholarship to Berlin, Germany to work with Hans Geiger. Say, Chadwick. Yes, Hans? After listening to Rutherford's lecture on electromagnetism, why don't you say you and I try the fields of it? Hmm, let's go for it. And so, the two men began to discover how some rays of particles are continuous. By sending beta rays through the Geiger tube into the energy source and finally to the timer, Chadwick realized that beta rays never stop. My golly, we've done it. Hans, we've done it. I cannot believe between my Geiger tube and your knowledge of particle rays that we learned the continuation of the beta particle. Yuri, go. Hello there, ma'am. Are you James Chadwick, sir? Yes, I am. You have been granted an internship with the German Army, sir. Please pack your bags and be ready to leave in the morning. While in the camp in Germany, James Chadwick was stricken with digestion problems, which led to sympathetic feelings of soldiers who then gave Chadwick equipment to study radioactivity. Oh, the agony. Very sorry, my dear sir. Anything I could do to ease your pain? Detection kits, books, anything you can find on radioactivity. We have this book. Hmm. Excuse me, Professor Professor Rutherford. Professor Rutherford. Oh yes, hello. Hello, sir. My name is James Chadwick. I just finished one of your books on the study of radioactivity. Ah, Chadwick. I've heard much about your work with Geiger. Thank you, Professor Rutherford. I've studied all of your work and attended many of your seminars. You are a mentor to me, sir. Well, how about you come down to my laboratory? Work with me for some time. Thank you, Professor. I will follow you there. Chadwick began to work under Rutherford and helped him accomplish the transmutation of other light elements by hitting them with alpha particles and also by making studies of properties and structure of the atomic nuclei. But Chadwick's greatest feat was yet to come. No, there must be something to get the mass of the atom. There must, something uncharged, just there to add mass. But what? Where? Hmm, I wonder, how could radiation of the gamma ray be so constant? What if, if the Currys are, are right now, how come the energy of photons going through the beryllium and the paraffin are not the same? Here we go. Through the redoing of the Curry experiment, Chadwick learned that the gamma rays, which had said to be constant, were actually showing the subatomic particle which Rutherford had been searching for. It was through the redoing of the experiment with more than just beryllium that James Chadwick had realized that he had found the neutron. After the discovery of the neutron was published, Chadwick went on to win major no awards such as the Nobel Prize in Physics, the Faraday Award, the Hughes Medal, Franklin Award, and the Co In 1935, Chadwick moved to Liverpool and worked at a university, where he finally had his own laboratory and created a plan to build a cyclotron. After World War II began, Chadwick worked alongside the British government and helped to develop the atomic bomb. Once the war ended, Chadwick continued to study nuclear energy, but soon turned to retire in Cambridge.